All right, moving on to your relationship and marriage lines. That area just above the flirt lines, just below the bottom ring of that mercury or that little finger, are your relationships and your marriages. These horizontal lines sit between the top of the heart line and the bottom of the ring on that little finger. There's a timeline there, and you divide these up into three sections. Now coming up from the bottom, that first section is your 20s and 30s, the middle section is your 40s and 50s, and that third section is 60 and above. You'll read those lines beginning from the back of the hand, which is the start of the relationship or the marriage, towards the palm which is later on. The lighter lines will be relationship lines and the darker ones, the more prominent lines, will stand out and have a great density and color to them, reflect your marriages. So as we take a look at those horizontal lines on the edge of that right hand, and you can see that uh, seven year relationship, line goes along then it just kind of fades out. But then you have this very strong marriage line. It goes along nice and consistent, has a nice deep color to it. You don't see any big ovals or breaks in the line that would interrupt the energy. You've got a lot of positive lines that are coming off the top of it. It looks to be a good marriage. Now you have a second line above that and it doesn't look like a marriage line. It just looks like a, a relationship line. It could either be that or what that is is a renewal of vows on that first marriage. And we tend to think that's what it is because that first marriage line is so good. Now in order to find a timeline on that marriage line we go over to the left hand and we look for a little fork that comes off of there. This is an opportunity to marry, and you've got one right there around 41, 42 years old. But that's a very strong marriage line. Now the children lines come down vertically from the bottom of that ring around the mercury finger, and you count them from the inside of your palm to the outer edge. And these can be biological children, stepchildren, adopted, godchildren, or nieces and nephews. Any child that you build a strong bond with. And as we take a look at those vertical lines, and they come off that bottom ring of that pinky finger, right there on the edge of the hand, and they sit above these uh, marriage lines, or marriage and relationship lines. And we actually see three lines there. So that's three children, then you have a little space and a bunch of little lines behind that. Those are grandchildren lines. We don't usually count those grandchildren lines in your hands. Those are better counted in your children's hands. But you have three very strong children lines there. Good close bond.